in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can make use of this green water this green water will do amazing in your life hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here for the first time you are so welcome consider subscribing to this channel if you love it in this channel i share spiritual tips that will help your spiritual life a lot i am pamela let's go ahead and subscribe if you love any of the tips go through my videos we see the one you will love definitely that will help you in one way or the other so i'm going to share with you this wonderful leaf that if you make use of it things will turn around for you this will help to get rid of bad spirits from you this will help to attract blessings good luck to your life you have to get scent leaf you can see it on the screen i don't have the leaf right now you know i don't have it right now so i will have showed you how it is but I believe you can see it on the screen. Scent leaf is highly potent, has lots of health benefits, beauty benefits, and also lots of lots lots of spiritual benefits that will benefit you in so many ways. So scent leaf has a way of removing bad spells. Bad spell I mean is if someone has cast a spell on you, making you to misbehave, making you to not to be yourself, making you to be behaving unusual. If anyone plays a course on you, you will say goodbye to those courses at the end of doing this work, okay? I'll try my best to explain to you very well how you can do it because I'm not, I don't have it right now. Well, I've showed you how to prepare it, okay? So what you have to do is to get scent leaf. You know, the fresh leaf, not the dry one, is sold in the market, local market. The ones you can order online are mostly the dry ones. It's not as if you cannot use the dry one, but if you want to make use of the dry one, I will tell you also how to make use of the dry one. But if you are lucky to get the fresh one, very good. So get the fresh scent leaf. You have to first wash off the dirt, you know, from it as usual, just the way you wash your vegetable. Use water, a clean water, wash it thoroughly. When you are done washing it, throw away the first water. You can wash it as many times as you want, depending on how dirty the leaf is. Add a fresh water, a neat water. This water is the one that you'll be using, okay? Just a little water so that you'll be able to squeeze out this juice. Another way you can do this to extract the juice from this leaf, because it's actually the juice we need. You can just transfer it into your blender after washing it the first time. Add water into it blend it very well then strain it out the water will be green that green water is actually what you need it's full of so many spiritual benefits it has the ability of removing bad spells from you it will set you free from every bondage if someone is remoting you like spiritually you may not know what is going on in your life people will be remoting you you'll be acting strange sometimes you will get yourself those things can be spiritual people will just try to manipulate you try to do some charms and incantations using your name using your pictures using your spirits if you are supposed to prosper more than the way you are doing now if you are supposed to make it like progress very well you will not be able to attain that height anymore there will be a slowdown in your life things will be going so slow like very sluggish just like snare very slow so this water is going to help you greatly to enable speed in your life it's going to help you greatly to remove all those causes be it from your father's house from your mother's house from your environment any part of the world this will help you greatly and the most important thing is that you are going to use it to have your bath so after straining out the juice then you have to use the water, add it into your bath water. Then you start praying. Pray that you want to remove all these causes, that you want to remove all these spells. Even if you are not aware of anything, this will help lots of people. This is generally for everyone. You can do this occasionally. In case you are not sure if there's any spell cast on you. So it's very important to do this once in a while if you are not sure. And you see that your life will never remain the same add it into your bath water be praying pray that 
whosoever that has cast any curses on you, any spell, whosoever that has tied you in bondage, whosoever that has done this or that, that is slowing down your life, making you not to, you know, not to go fast the way you should go, that you destroy it as you have your bath with this water, that you destroy it. Go ahead and make use of any soap, but this water is what you have to use to pour on your body as you're having your bath. Use it to rinse your body. Do not say, oh, how can I use this water to rinse my body? It doesn't smell. Scent leaf has a very sweet smell, actually. So just go ahead and try it and see it for yourself. Be praying as you're bathing. After bathing, do not pack dry. Allow it to just drain out, the water to drain out naturally. You can just use your, your hand to reduce excessive water. Then you come out from the bathroom. From that day on, you see miracle things will start happening. You can do this once, you can do it two times, three times. You can do it for seven days straight without stopping. Remember, all these are natural and very spiritual. So do not let anything to contaminate it by, you know, as you are doing this, do not pick quarrel with anyone. Just try your best to avoid quarrels. Also try your best if you are seeing your period. Just hold on after your menstrual flow. Then go on and start using this, okay? And also do not meet your partner sexually, okay? There's time for everything. You can just have your bath with it only one day. If you are not the type that cannot stay without your partner. So, for those that have the dry leaf, the dry scent leaf, this is what you have to do. You have to blend that scent leaf the dried one you know it will be very dried just blend it use a blender blend it into a powdered form store it in a container the powdered form soak it with hot water it can be a just a, a very small water soak it allow it to ferment to infuse to mix well why i said hot water instead of cold water is because it's in a dried form if you want it to infuse that very well you have to add hot water Allow it for 24 hours or 48 hours. After that, then you, you will notice the color has changed because it has missed very well, okay? Then you strain it out. That water, use it to have your bath. Just the way I explained how to use it, if it's a fresh one you want to use. Remember to be praying as you're having your bath with it. This is natural. The leaf is awesome. Go ahead and try it. It will remove all spells. It will destroy all causes. If you are not sure how many people place a curse on you, how he has been in your life, you can just decide to be doing this every month. Do it once every month or three days in every month. And you will surely notice difference in your life. And most times, how you know is working. Because this is spiritual. It's by your own dream. Your dream is going to tell you if it's working or not. If it's not working, then you know that there's something that is, is really wrong. You can try other tips in my channel if this one did not work to remove bad spells and curses. I have other videos using another ingredient to remove spells and curses. So if this one did not work, just know that either you're not doing it right or maybe because of your spirits. Most spirits are so immersed with curses. Or just know that you are just not okay, okay? Just know that you are okay and nothing is wrong with you spiritually because this is very potent. Go ahead and try any other tip on my channel if this one did not work, but I know it will work for you because it's highly effective. You will be free from every harm. You will be free from every bad spells and causes. You will be safe from every harmful attacks with this green water. You will notice a good spirit surrounding you like you feel it, okay? You definitely feel it. Do not come and ask me how long it's going to work and uh, it's not working for me and how, what should I do? I've already explained everything, okay? And this is spiritual. It's a spiritual work. Everyone's spirit is not the same. Some people, after using it the first time, it will start working for them, like, seriously. And most people will require stages of cleansing with it, of bathing with this water. For it to start working like for them to start noticing so if you use it once it did not work i will advise you to try it again okay and instead of just leaving it aside and jumping into another type 
thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and share it to everyone remain blessed as always i will see you in my next video